I want to listen. You're the best. Thank you. All right, you guys. I have the honor and pleasure of introducing somebody today that I've really been excited to work with. And she started coaching almost four years ago. And she's currently a seven star diamond, but she hit 2020 elite. So I'm very proud of her. She was a 2019 premier coach as well, but 2020 elite was a big deal for her. She has spent 43 consecutive months uh, in Success Club, never missed since a day she, the, the day she started. And uh, she was one of the top regional cup teams uh, last year. So from Columbus, Ohio, let's bring on Brittany Kovacs. And I have to bring on Brittany Kovacs, right? Or you, you're on, okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? We are good. It's snowy here today. Yeah, well, it's not in LA, but it has been cold. I came to work this morning. It was 41. I think that's cold for LA. That is cold for California. So Brittany, I am going to let you let everybody else know what brought you to Beachbody. How'd you become a coach? Yeah. So I was a nanny 45 hours a week before Beachbody. And I actually had dabbled in another network marketing company back in 2012 and 2013. And that's when the seed was really planted for me that life could be more than the shuffle of nine to five and dropping the kids off to work and then the dinner hustle and the bedtime and all of that kind of stuff. And I didn't have kids yet, but I was really dreaming big for my future of what that might look like as a mom. Um, and so I actually competed in a bikini competition back in 2012 and I was an all or nothing type person. I was counting every gram of every food that I put in my mouth and I was spending hours in the gym or I wasn't taking care of myself at all. And so fast forward, I got married August of 2015, and I didn't know that what I called at the time normal people fitness could exist. And so I bought my first challenge pack after watching a friend on Facebook um, about the 21 day fix DVDs with Shakeology. And I knew that there was no way that I was going to order a second month of that expensive shake with ingredients I didn't understand. Um, and we were 10 grand in debt. And so it was a lot for me to invest in that challenge pack at the time. But I did, um, and I fell in love with the products and programs. Um, eight months later, I found that balance that I was ever striving for, and I just knew that uh, this vehicle for, could be for me as far as the coaching opportunity goes, and I felt so great that I knew that I had to pay that forward and continue on um, helping other women do the same. Wow. <laughs> I was like, you said that, I think, all in one breath. <laughs> Sorry, I talk fast and I'm excited, but I did sign up um, June 29th of 2016. Well, okay. So we're almost at your four-year anniversary and you were a part-time nanny, full-time nanny? A 45 hours a week. I had two little girls from two different families. Okay. And you were, uh, I'm just asking, not making enough money or you wanted to do something different or? No, I loved my job as a nanny. I just knew that I wanted to give that ex same experience and be present for my own children when I had them in the future. And so I actually, when I did end up walking away from my job, it was way more emotional than it was financial. Um, I started with these girls from the, the day they came home from the hospital. I had them at five days old. And so really working for them for over six years, it was way more emotional. I was part of their family. Um, I had replaced my income with Beachbody. Um, Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success. It depends <laughs> on your hard work, skill, and diligence. Um, but I really, it was an emotional decision when I did decide to um, be a stay-at-home mom. Okay. Well, that is a really great story. Thank you so much for sharing that. So we're going to move on to the bulk of the call. And since we are, uh, you know, just weeks away or days away from Team Cup, let's talk about why you're speaking on this topic. Why is it close to your heart? Yeah. So my first cup experience, um, it was August of 2016. So I essentially had only been a coach. It was my second month in the business and my coach asked me on her team. And so that bar was set to, um, you know, perform for her and show up and learn the business. And so I hit success club 18 that month. And it really did set the bar for me to allow me to know that this was possible. There were three to five women for me. I work with women um, out there to help every single month. And so I, I just kept doing that. Um, something I do every single month to make sure that people know that my doors are open for my virtual gym. It's not kind of like on the first of the month, I open the doors and then I don't ever talk about it again. I'm constantly talking about my virtual gym community, my, vir my virtual fit girls. Um, and I add a fresh twist to that group every single month so I can continue bringing um, women in to my virtual gym and set that bar to continue helping women all year long, all month long. Um, 
so yeah, my first team cup, like I said, was, it was in August of 2016 and I, I set that bar high. Um, I think that we just have to believe that there are three new people out there to help every single month um, because there absolutely are. And so you're doing great. You're doing okay. great. Keep going. I like not seeing pieces that I had here, but it's okay. We're going with it. I know, I know my heart on this. And so we're going to just keep going. So we just have to believe that there are three women out there to help every single month. There are women that need this community, um, women in their postpartum journeys that have lost themselves as mom, or um, I don't want to keep talking about women. I know there are amazing men coaches out there and men that need this opportunity so much as well. Um, and I, ju you just have to believe that there are people out there to help. So that was my first team cup experience, like I said, and then my next team cup, I actually stepped into a leadership role. Um, I had a few coaches, working coaches in my downline. And so I was able to become a team captain that time. And really what that did different for me was it showed me that I was capable of leading a team, um, pushing people outside of their comfort zone, setting little challenges within our five person team that we had built on team cup. Um, we created a message thread on Facebook and we celebrated all of the big and little wins in that group. So a big win would be a challenge pack sale or an Emerald rank advancement. Um, a small win would be just, you know, going live on Instagram or Facebook for the first time or getting outside of your comfort zone and sending those messages and inviting that girl or that boy that's been loving on your post and following along on your fitness journey. Um, I really wanted to set the the example for them and lead by example so that if I was selling, you know, two to four challenge packs per week, it was showing them that they could sell two to four challenge packs per month. And so three of us hit success club that month on that team cup. And that was huge. And we celebrated that. Okay. So I'm going to stop you for just one second. Cause I'm trying to follow along and you're, you're, you're speaking faster than I can even follow along. Okay. So the first cup, you were not a leader. You were just somebody that was two months into this business and you kind of got roped into it and, and you hit a huge success club 18, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what, what in that experience made you then want to lead a team, the following one? Why don't you share that with us? Yeah. So I was a cheerleader my whole life, um, 11 years. I like to pretend I still am with my, my little pony. Um, and I'm an Enneagram three. So I love those, those friendly competition, that team atmosphere, really getting engaged um, in those small group communities. And so I had a great experience with my first team cup with my coach leading me. And I just knew that this was something that corporate was going to continue to offer one to two times a year, like Sandy mentioned at the beginning of the call. And so I've never missed a team cup. I, I love it. I love I love the atmosphere of it. I love the friendly competition. I love the recognition. I love the gifts. And I love getting to know my coaches and their certain pain points and then pushing them outside of their comfort zones and going alongside of them. Um, I'm finding right now, as within our team, we're building our team cup teams right now. Some girls are scared to disappoint their cup or you have a fear, a fear of failure to get into those activities. But team cup really forces us to come alongside each other and collaborate and be brave together um, because there are women out there to help. And I always hear it said like, what if your coach didn't show up? You know, think about how you got started in Beachbody and what Beachbody might, what your life might look like without Beachbody. And so when we don't share, when we don't invite, when we don't show up bravely and boldly and vulnerably, we're holding that transformation back from someone else whose life could be drastically changed. And so I just, I get emotional talking about it, knowing that so many of my girls that have been stuck or paralyzed for fear of failure are getting on team cup teams and are going to get outside their comfort zones and help one, two, three, four, five women this, this coming month in February. And that's what excites me about team cup. You know what? I like the way that you made that connection because people come into the business and they're scared and they're fearful and team cup is almost a way of saying, let's do this together. A team of five, you know, we don't even have to win the top goals. Let's just work together so you get your jitters out. Mm -hmm. I love the way that you connected that piece. Mm -hmm. Why don't we talk about the best cup experience? You've been in what, five team cups now? Something like that. Yeah, there Something used to be like two that. per year when I started and now it's been February the last couple of years. But yeah, so last year's team cup, 2019 was for sure our team first 
my favorite team cup experience. Um, my downline, we ended up popping six new diamonds. We had five personally sponsored emeralds pop during team cup. And I had 36 coaches and my downline hit success club, which even saying that loud out loud is like, holy moly. Um, and we had 28 more coaches getting into enrolling activity for the first time. So that's hitting success club two or hitting success club four. And I think that, um, you know, that is the goal of Team Cup, kind of like Sandy just said. It's not to win the trip to LA. It's not to, you know, get the rose gold bar that we all want, right? But it is to get outside your comfort zone. It's to get those first couple wins. It's to sell that first challenge pack, to sign up that first coach, to just like I was saying, get outside of our comfort zones. And so that moving forward into the rest of the year, um, we, we know that we are capable of it. So obviously we, we celebrated, um, like I said, my whole cup team was diamonds by the end of cup last year. And we, we got the regional jackets and they actually were all local girls to me, which was too awesome too. Um, so we got to get together and celebrate. Um, my husband cooked steaks on the grill. So it was a really fun experience last year for us with team cup. You know, I was saying that on the um, podcast, like people probably put two times the speed just to get through the podcast. But I think with you, I'm going to lower that speed because you have been sharing some gems and I want people to hear them. It is really amazing that you ended that that great cup team was all newbies. Right. And then they ended up being diamonds. They were all, um, most of my cup team was less than six months old. I wouldn't say that they were new. They were primed for sure. We, they were already kind of on a roll. Um, I actually, most of my cup team had babies the same age as my son because I had attracted them and connected with them throughout our pregnancy. And so we were all kind of on this postpartum journey together. We were all doing Transform 20 because that's what was launching at the time. And so we were really just sharing our story vulnerably and showing up on social media and, you know, in real life and setting that example of what our products and programs can provide as far as life change goes. Um, and so this year we have even more tools. We've got the bar launch happening right now that a lot of my girls have clinged to and poured into. I don't even know if we've mentioned it, but I'm 35 weeks pregnant. So I'm doing what I can over here as far as <laughs> raising my legs up over my head goes. Um, and then we have uh, six weeks of the work and the prep, which is the program that my husband's currently obsessed with and loving. And Amwala is amazing and bringing the fire to our living room. And so we have these tools and really, you know, as far as attracting new people every month and knowing that there's someone else to help, um, for us, it's just clinging to one of our programs. It's, it's the old school beach body, decide, commit, succeed, um, start sharing your journey, commit to start and finishing one of these programs, go all in and get excited about it. And then you're going to, you're going to attract people that are going to be like, you know, I want what she's on and you're going to do it together. Okay, if you're just joining this call, we are talking about her experiences with Team Cup and holy moly, like you are incredibly passionate about Team Cup and I love it. You've used it as a launch pad to really get people uh, more confident about what they're doing. You know, they say together we're better. So um, I think that Team Cup has really worked for you. What kind of goals do you set for your teammates when you've been the, the team captain? What, what has been your goal setting? Yeah. And again, like I said, the, obviously the goal here is to hit success club. We all want to earn our individual prizes, but it's really fun to push outside of our comfort zones and earn those team prizes as well. But really my goal as a leader is to get my girls outside of their comfort zones. Um, and again, don't go into team cup thinking like, oh, I'm going to disappoint my teammate or I can't get on a team because I've never hit success club before or whatever that is. Like, I really want to encourage my new girls just to get on a team because they're going to, they're going to connect and meet new people within the community. They're going to get plugged into the bigger picture of what Beachbody really is. And that's going to keep them going throughout the rest of the year. Like we have this call titled the team cup was the catalyst for my success as a Beachbody coach. And it's because I got plugged in. I got to know other leaders on our team within my second month of the business. And so I'm encouraging girls and boys to get on those teams and to get plugged into those small group communities. Like I said, I have my teams create um, Facebook message threads so that they can celebrate those big and little wins. I have them, you know, I'm hopping on Zoom for a 45 minute power hour while I watch The Bachelor, who wants to hop on with me? And creating that, that team 
morale that sometimes gets lost on these bigger teams, just setting that, that culture to get to know one another. Um, something else that we do is I have a ring the bell graphic in my team page on Team Cup Month, and it doesn't have to be fancy. You guys can Google a bell clip art on you know, social media and write ring the bell team cup style on it and post it in your team page where you can celebrate um, outside of your team into your big team. Um, those those big and little wins. Um, I'll also create a graphic so that we can stay up to date. We share it on our social media stories. We share it on our Instagram stories. I have my dry erase board that I love to track. Um, I love just a visual in front of me on my phone on my dry erase board of what my team is doing who I need to love on and pour into more. Um, myself as a leader now on the other side, I'm even getting into some of those smaller pods with the newer coaches so I can answer the questions and I can be the leader and also pour into and raise up other leaders within those small five, you know, six if it's including me group pods on Facebook Messenger. You, you said something that really resonated with people on, on Facebook, and that is the smaller group atmosphere. So people get uh, swallowed up sometimes in a big team. So Team Cup, of, which is just a team of five people, can be a, a great way to introduce people to a larger team. I love that. Okay, you and I spoke about uh, goals of hitting SC2 or SC4. Guys, Success Club 2 is helping one person with a challenge pack get connected to their healthy goals. One person is Success Club 2. Success Club 4, helping two people. So now, what do you think holds coaches back from hitting SC2 or SC4? Yeah, absolutely. I think that some newer coaches um, get scared to lead with a challenge pack sale. Um, a lot of times I see girls offering the 14 day girls. I'm sorry. It's just a natural thing to come out of my mouth. I see coaches um, offering the 14 day trial or just a VOD membership, which are great. And those are amazing tools. But I spend my time on the front end really getting to know that prospects needs. I ask a lot of questions. I talk about your struggles. Do you struggle more with fitness and nutrition? Um, is it a time thing for you? Um, what kind of workouts do you enjoy, if any? Do you have any food allergies? Do you have a good internet connection? And I really get to know that prospect on the front end. And what I find is the challenge pack often with an add on of to be mindset or UPF um, is really what that that new prospect needs to get started right. And essentially, it ends up being what they want. I know for myself, I mentioned we were five figures in debt when I first bought my first challenge pack. And it was a big investment to spend that $160, $180 at the time. I think bought um, challenge packs with Shakeology were 200 or 220 when they first came out, you guys. They're 160 right now, often 140 with a coupon or a promo code. And so we have to understand the value of what we have to offer and not go for that low hanging fruit of just getting them started on VOD because someone truly needs that mental investment and financial investment to commit for 30 or 60 days sometimes. And so I know for myself, when I sign up for something free or I opt into a free email list, I'm often not checking it. I'm saving it for later. I'll get to that when the time comes. And so making that, that first investment that is sometimes uncomfortable for them financially gets them started on the right path with all of the tools, with the nutritional support, with the community support, with the workouts, with the, you know, the supplements, the bag of Shakeology or their performance stack. Um, and I think that a lot of coaches sometimes struggle with their confidence on the front end of that. And so you guys, you just have to know what we have to offer has changed your life. And that's why you're listening to this call right now. And that's why you continue to show up every day. So don't let that fear or, you know, whatever it is in your mindset, um, you know, hold you back from sharing that with people. Awesome. You know, some people are asking how they get on a cup team. Let me just share FAQ 11051 is team cup information, but talk to your upline coach about getting on a team and, and that coach can either match make or pair you up. I think getting on the champions page. Also people are looking for um, teammates. Is that how you, well, your coach got you into yours, but mm -hmm. what, what advice would you give to people who are looking for a team? Yeah, I think that um, reaching out to your upline is great because a lot of us have bigger upline support. Um, if you don't, reach out to that girl on Instagram that you follow that you're a little bit scared of and ask if she has anyone in her downline that she can pair you with. I know I might personally don't blow my inbox, but I have a couple of teams that have spaces left and we're going to fill those in. You guys, we still have 10, 11 days left in the month. And the more people, you know, 
reach out to, or, you know, catch up on these recordings of these videos that we have going out the national wake up call. There's pop-ups in the champion trade all week talking about how important team cup is more people are going to get out there outside of their shell and commit to it. So reach out to another coach on Instagram and ask if she wants to start a group with you, or if she has anyone in her downline that can be on your team. Um, you only need five. And it's so great to get to know other people in the network um, and collaborate in that way. And ask the he's also, they, he yeah. might watch you. <laughs> okay, couple more questions and then we get to the close of the call. Cause, and I'm so excited that it is today a day off because there's a lot of people on this call who don't normally get to get live on the wake up call. How do you manage burnout? or uh, consistency in the cup. So people yeah. come in, you know, swing in, and then a couple weeks later, they kind of fizzle out. Mm -hmm. And how do you keep that consistency alive? Yeah, so I am gonna encourage my girls to, and boys, gosh, that is terrible. I am gonna encourage my coaches to stay connected to their small group pods afterwards, um, maybe one or two girls and boys really connect. Um, maybe a couple coaches decide to be success partners after the, the cup. And I think too, um, as far as the, the burnout goes, maybe you set the bar really high for a team cup and you fell short of your goal, but that's okay. You can reset the goal for March and continue moving forward and continue helping people. Um, as far as burnout goes, like I said, I think too, sometimes people struggle with that scarcity mindset. If I help too many people in February, there's not possibly going to be anyone left to help in March, but that's not true at all. I believe in momentum and putting your foot down on the gas and connecting and sharing your story so strongly in, in February that you're going to get an email from somebody in October and be like, I started following you when you started doing bar in February and I'm finally ready to get going. But you've got to keep showing up in those months in between for that person to be ready to come around in October. And so just believe and, you know, dream big for 2020 and plant that flag in February, plant that flag today, January 20th, 2020, um, and just continue to show up and believe that there are people to help. And at the end of the day, Success Club 100 is not the goal. Success Club 30 is not the goal. The goal set by corporate is Success Club 5. And where my bunny's at, um, we help, we lose two pounds at a time on 2B Mindset, and we hit Success Club two points at a time. And so we celebrate each one of those lives that we get to change. We celebrate each challenge pack that we sell. We celebrate each coach that joins our team. And we, we just keep focusing on the bigger picture of helping people long-term versus helping all the people in February. And there couldn't possibly be somebody else to help in March. That is the best. Last question about this is what kind of team are you putting together right now for February? Is yeah, it movies? so we're is it veterans. We are coming off of a high of 2019. Like Sandy mentioned, we hit elite for the first time. We were a top regional cup team. And so I have a couple of new girls and boys, new coaches that I'm going to be pairing up with for this team cup and getting to know and getting to pour in um, a lot of these women are and men are not local to me. So getting to know them in that small group um, pod that I was talking about and getting to know them and getting to know their point points and pushing them outside of their comfort zones and loving on them. So I will have a team of newbies um, in their first three to six months on my team, this team cup. Okay, you have given so many great tips on how you're, uh, you've are you done CUP in the past and how it's worked for you and how it has um, increased momentum for your business. So hopefully it has inspired people to register. And so now I'd like to ask you, last three and a half years you've been coaching, what has it meant to you? Yeah, so like I said, I wasn't a mom yet when I signed up as a coach. It was, or, um, I was a brand new wife. And I, I saw other women, I asked, I thought, gosh, darn it. I am not sexist. I promise. I just have a really large team of amazing women and moms. Um, I, I saw other leaders in the network, the Jamie Fitzpatrick's, there are boys that spend time with their children as coaches as well. And I saw other leaders in the network spending time with their children. And I, like I mentioned at the beginning of the call, I was exposed to network marketing um, in 2012 and 2013 before I, years before I signed up as a coach. And I was exposed to that lifestyle. And that's kind of when I started dreaming before I even had kids, before I even had, you know, that, that lack of um, in my life. And 
I made a post this time last year. Um, my husband worked full time outside the home as a carpenter, and he also works part time at the church on Sundays. And so Saturdays was really the only time that we had memories to time to make memories as a family of three. I was a nanny. I was bringing my son to school with or to work with me. So I had my son with me, but I really wanted to have that piece of all three of us. Um, my father was an over the road truck driver as when I was growing up and he was absent a lot as well. And so I made a post, we were at a pumpkin patch, it was last fall. And um, I basically was sharing that vision of, I wanna live in a world where every day feels like Saturday. And you guys, every day gets to be Saturday now because my husband is working part-time now and I'm a full-time stay at home, work from home, mom is a beach body coach. And so we get to go out to eat for breakfast on a Thursday morning. My husband is at the library with my son right now because I kicked him out so I could have the house for this call. And we get to make those memories. We get to travel and see family without asking for time off work or knowing if it's going to be paid or unpaid because we're out of days. And that's really the vision I had when I started this business three and a half years ago, and it's what's kept me going and sharing and believing and showing up um, every day since then. So Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success. Again, um, it just depends on your work ethic and your skill and showing up and really wanting that vision and that better life for yourself as well. I think I'm in love. <laughs> You are definitely um, experiencing a wonderful success, and I'm very, very happy for you. Congratulations on Elite 2020, and to all the little boys and girls out there who want to get on a Team Cup team, um, go out and make it happen. Thank you so much, Brittany, for being on the call, and um, I'm just going to... Um, Feels like Saturday for me here, I tell you, because <laughs> no one was on the road today, so it does feel like a Saturday. Uh, but the I have an affirmation here. Made me really think while she was talking about um, she was a cheerleader for eleven years. I was a cheerleader. Would you ever have guessed? Yes, I was a cheerleader. I was the one they would put on top in the splits because I'm only five feet tall. But anyway, I thought about how much uh, Team Cup feeds her spirit because she is. She likes friendly competition and she's very much into encouraging other people on her team. So today, feed your spirit. What is your spirit? And if so, once you figure that out, feed it and be happy in what you want to be doing uh, and make every day a Saturday. So with that, everybody, I'm going to say bye-bye. See you next week.